I said earlier on in these tutorials, um, things are going to change because I'm working on this. I'm actually working on this project as we go along. I'm going to change how things are done. And right now, currently, uh, our birds here, both the enemy and our bullets, are 3D objects. They're cubes. Um, and that was the best way I could do it without them falling over flat. And um, last night I was lying in bed. I'm like, there's got to be a better way. And I'm going to show you a way to do it. Uh, the thing is we're going to lose in the way I'm doing it right now our rotation on the y-axis, uh, which may not be all that important in this case, but we may or may not do this for things in the future, and uh, I may find a better way of doing this. But right now, let's start with our bullet objects. So let's go to our second layer here, choose our tux penguin. Um, actually, let's go back to our first layer real quick. I'm going to hit spacebar and type in camera, and go align camera to, and it says, uh, it's supposed to be to view, and it says control alt number pad. Uh, Control number pad zero is supposed to work, but in the current version 2.60a that I'm working with, the shortcut key doesn't work. But we can click on it here and it moves the camera here. Now we're not going to actually run the game through the camera, at least not right now, because uh, I don't want that uh, um, depth view of it. So I'm just moving the camera there so that our penguins have something to point towards. I'm going to now go to the second layer, and with our penguin here selected, going to go into top view. And as if you remember, we made it a very long box to prevent it from rotating around. Let's hit tab in edit mode, and we have this face over here selected. Let's just hit delete, delete vertices, and that now has made it back into a single plane here. I'm going to A to select all, and I'm going to G to grab Y on the Y axis and move it back. So it's kind of centered on our uh, little center point there. It doesn't have to be exactly on it because um, the collision is going to be based on where that center point is, which we are constraining to uh, a certain Y depth. Okay, I hit tab to get out of that mode there, and we're going to change this down into our logic view here, logic editor. And just like we did with a few other things, we're going to say add always, and we're going to connect that to a constraint, and we're going to say location y. This will prevent our penguin from moving forward and back. It will only move left, right, up, and down. Now if we go to our front view, or our first uh, layer here, one to go to front view and hit P to start the game, and we shoot, you'll see that our penguin hits things, but then he falls kind of flat. And uh, so does our other penguin here, doesn't really fall flat, but he falls over as well. Um, so we need to make a few more changes. And uh, what we're going to do now is select our penguin here again. And what we're going to do now is add another uh, actuator here and we're going to say edit object and we're going to say um, yeah I already picked edit object what are we doing? don't click there click here add object and change that to track 2 and connect that there and we're going to say track 2 camera so this penguin will always point towards the camera so if we go back to our view here we've almost got what we want here I'm going to press our button there and to shoot and he falls but uh, you see, after he falls, he kind of slides back towards the cannon. I, I'm not really sure why that's happening. Um, at first I thought it was trying to align with the camera, but you can see here he's still heading to the left, and he's past where the camera would be lined up. And uh, my solution for this as of right now, and once again may change in the future as I continue developing this game, with that penguin selected, I'm going to go into the physics for it and turn up the dampening for rotation on it right there all the way to 1. Now I can shoot that penguin out, and as you can see, he doesn't slide around. Now we have lost his rotation on the y-axis. As you can see, he's always kind of standing flat. As of right now, that's what we're going with. Uh, I'm going to continue working on this, try to figure out a better way of uh, doing it. But we're going to do the same thing for this penguin here. Go into top view, edit mode, um, and we're going to hit uh, control tab, go to vertices mode. I'll hit Z to go into wireframe mode, B to box select, select all the vertices on that side, delete them, hit A to select all, G to grab, move him somewhat towards his center point there. Uh, and we have him set so he will die when he gets hit, but we need to now add an always, always, and connect this here. And we're going to say, uh, edit object, track to camera, 
And um, we also need to constrain them to the y-axis here. So add an actuator, constant, and his location on the y-axis will always be a minimum and maximum of zero. So that will mean, even though they're flat, uh, they're always going to be lined up. Otherwise, if the bricks below him moved, he may fall forward or back, and then our very flat plane may miss him. But with this, they will always be both the objects, all these objects, on the y-axis at zero. Okay, uh, tab to get out of edit mode there, textured mode, wanted to get back into front view. And now we can shoot our penguin, he knocks over bricks. We can shoot him, he goes through those, and the wood ones kind of disappear when they're hit by him. Um, oh, and our little angry penguin there is, <laughs> looks like he's trying to get to the cannon. That's actually kind of a cool, maybe we can make it a game so that if he actually makes it to the cannon, you lose. Um, but for now, uh, that's not in the plans. I'm going to turn his uh, damp rotationing dampening up. I really don't know what's causing that, but that is uh, alleviating that problem right now. And it's not really a big deal that the penguins don't rotate uh, on the y-axis. It is uh, important that these uh, blocks do, but the blocks are actually 3D objects, and that's fine. So that is our little uh, making it more of a 2D game. Uh, which is what our goal is. Now, in reality, I don't know if there's a better way to do it with uh, the logic editor here. There most definitely is going to be a better way to do it with a script, which I will hopefully uh, learn more. I'm still very limited on my Python knowledge when it comes to the Blender module. Uh, so I'm trying to do as much as this as I can with the logic editor. So we may actually write some code later on to calculate the rotations uh, to so that we can maybe get back that Y uh, rotation. Uh, but uh, for right now, our game is moving along. We can shoot three penguins out. Oh, we are having an issue here. They're not colliding with that penguin, and they should be. Um, this dampening is on the Y axis for, or constraints to Y axis of zero. And this guy is the same. Hmm. Let's go into top view and wireframe mode so we can see what's going on here. Start the game. Oh, look at that. He's already a little rotated. I can't sh see how high I'm shooting. Oh, they should be colliding, though. This is an issue that I didn't think that we would have. Let's see. Let's clone that guy and put him down here. So right now we should be able to... They should still be colliding. Okay, well that is a problem for our next video. I'm going to continue working on this in the next video, but I don't want these videos to do be too long. So uh, thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day and continue watching this tutorial and find them useful and enjoy the final product of the game when it is complete.